Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your monthly tarot card reading predictions for my lovely follower signs of Capricorn for the month of September 2024. So for this month guys, I'm going to do an overview theme card for us Capricorns because I am a Capricorn myself. <coughs> Just to see what's going on, what the overview theme is. Then we're going to move on to the Angel Tarot and pull a couple cards from the Magical Spell Deck. And I do have postcards from Spirit over here on the side that we're rounded off with. But before we begin, let me quickly say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to all my social media platforms. Those are the, the new ones that are coming in and to the ones that have been there. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let's dive in and see what's going on with us Capricorns, because we really need some good news, even though they say that Pluto has just re-entered back on Capricorn, into Capricorn, and it's supposed to be there till November, or some, I see one astrologer saying October, one saying November, I don't know, but I'll be glad when it freaking goes, so we can, you know, have some good things coming in. So we're, we're going to see what's going on for us in September. Let me ring the bell and I'm going to grab some tea. Asking my spirit team to step forward. Before it cools down. So what is going on with us Capricorns? For the month of September, good things, I hope, because this August has been really, wow. I've had so many things break down on me this, um, this August. This has really been challenging me to believe how you other Capricorns are faring out. But. All right, let's see what this Capricorn need to know and hear this month, Spirit. I hope all of you are having a beautiful, wonderful, and blessed, blessed month. Waves of change. <laughs> Boy, do we need it. <laughs> Embrace change. Paragra paradigm shift. Ride the waves of light. You see the surfer up there. Uh-oh. Let's embrace this big change. I hope it's a big-ass change. And a big paradigm shift. We really need it. Capricorns really need a big change. A change for the better. So what else is going on with our beautiful Capricorns this month? Yeah. What's going on, Angel? This Capricorn needs to know. So big changes are coming. It's a paradigm shift. Ride the wave of light. Oh, Lord. So... <laughs> Always getting giddy on Capricorn. This is like the the this one and Taurus. The the Earth signs always kind of get giddy. Those are they're the last ones I do. So <laughs> so no matter what you're going through, try to keep positive, guys. Try to keep positive because there's going to be many changes, and I don't think it's just for the month of September. Um, they're showing me the whole, the rest of this year. So, it could be one minute you're up on the wheel. The next minute you're down on the wheel. So, still waves of change are coming in. Boy, you know, we're talking about waves of change. It, it, and, you know, it comes in, but it doesn't stay. It comes and it goes. We got six. We're... Okay, maybe I can edit that out. <laughs> We've got life experience. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Really? Really? Really, Spirit? Really? No wonder waves of change are coming up. We've got life experience, which is the freaking tower. Seven of air and five of air. <laughs> God, I can tell you, just prepare. Find, have a spiritual practice. Be out in nature. Um, 
try to keep positive, reinforce those, uh, not reinforce, but every negative thought that comes in, uh, change it for bring in something positive. Um, yeah, stay grounded. Nature and meditation is going to be really, really good for you. But, you know, it's not all bad with the tower. It just turns down stuff that's not not um helping you and um reinforcing why do i keep saying reinforce it the word keeps coming out of my mouth for some reason it tears down things that are no longer serving you and builds things up better so it's like uh, change may it looks the change always looks difficult and then it turns out being beautiful in the end after you go through the process so let's deep dive here and see what's going on this month so you do have safe home protection, the creativity card, and the harvest. So it's not all bad. <laughs> I have to reiterate and reinforce you to keep your pos thoughts positive this month. There is some power moment, some life experience that you're going to be going through this month. Capricorns um, that we're all going to be going through. And this is not for everyone. This is just a general reading. Don't look at it as doom and gloom. It's things and it's people. I feel like it's someone falling away from your lives. Um, jobs that are no longer working for you. Home situations that are no longer working for you. Um, things are changing. The tower is, is about breaking away um, things that are no longer serving us or things that are false and they're not for our uh, divine plan that that need to happen to put us on the i don't want to say the right path because we're always on the right path but puts us on a new path a new experience a new beautiful experience that's coming in and it could be someone that you know you could be divorced, could be breaking up, could be moving, it could be um, you getting evicted, having to move, just having to move, having to do this. Don't be in your head so much. There is this is going to be um, lots of changes. And, and spirit is over here telling us to embrace it. Embrace it and ride the wave of light. Paradigm shifts are happening here. This big change that is happening needs to take place. It needs to take place. We've got, let's talk about the cards at the bottom. Keep working towards your goals. You've got the harvest card here. So there's things that you're working towards. You sow the seeds. You put down the seeds. Something you're working towards. There's still a little bit more time. Um, to bring that to fruition, but it's happening. It's happening, and you may feel like nothing is happening, but it is happening. You're going to need to get creative. Creativity is the ability, you know, for you to manifest ideals that begin in dreams and wishes and to see them, to, you know, bring them and to see them become solid and three-dimensional with the harvest card and the creativity card right here beside of each other. Don't stop working towards what you're um, um, wanting to create and what your, your goal is because you planted those seeds. So keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. This is just a hump in the road. Whatever this big um, thing is, when you look back on it, it'll be a hump in the road. It may not look like a hump in the road now, uh, when you're actually experiencing it, but when you look like that need to happen because it put me over here, it put me somewhere better, somewhere better. It it moved me to a better job or a better home or a better relationship. You know, it needed to happen. So, and you know, and during this time, you could some of you could not be feeling safe because we do have the safe home protection. Uh, card down here too so you may not be feeling entirely um, like you uh, are safe uh, and secure could be some um, root chakra stuff going on you may not even feel like you're safe in your home so do whatever it is that you can to make sure that you feel safe grounded 
protected and secure this month. Okay, so do whatever you can. Get out in nature, have a spiritual practice, put in an alarm, move, whatever it is that makes you feel more safe, more grounded, and more protected. Because you are. You are divinely protected. We do have Archangel Shamuel coming in with this life experience that is coming up. <clears throat> so I want you to call on Archangel Shamuel or any of the Archangels or whoever it is that you uh, communicate with to um, ask for guidance, um, surround you in protection through this big major change that's going on that's going to be happening for a lot of Capricorns not everyone out there again this is a general reading so I invite them into your home into your life and know that um you will get through this so let's get a postcard from spirit to round this off this is dear she let us ask you, are you looking for happiness outside of your everyday moment-to-moment -moment experiences? Thinking you will find happiness out there someday. So many go chasing magic it, magic it out there, but it's never, but it never could be found there. So we want to share a secret that shouldn't be a secret. You are pure joy. What made you is pure joy. And every time you wake up, and even when you sleep, you have joy waiting to be expressed inside of you. Joy and happiness and full fullness comes from doing joy, being joy, knowing it, cultivating it, and lighting it in your heart so you can share it. You must know this so when the time comes, you will full be free in your joyful being and actions will turn you into a beacon of starlight. Look within, be joyful, even for tears and loss, for they mean that you have lived, really lived. Jump into all and love every minute of it. We all love you like crazy over here. Now that is a beautiful message there. To go along with this reading guys i'm gonna leave you with that hope this helps you in your journey of your life blessings my friends and namaste